Welcome back from an ad break. So now let's, let's do a quick recap. So we were looking at the chemical reactions and within that, we were looking at the general chemical reactions. We went on further to look, to look at reactants and products. And then lastly, we looked at the useful reactions that are, that are useful to everyone around us. In this, in this lesson, we used words such as chemical reaction, chemical bond, reactants, product, and subscript. So those are the words that we used throughout this entire lesson. I'm sure you took note of those words as we're using them. Also, uh, what we need to take away from this lesson is that, number one, every time a chemical reaction takes place, bonds, the bonds that are holding the reactant particles together, they must be broken and the new bonds that are linking the particles of the new substance must form. What we must take away is that when a chemical reaction takes place, the existing bonds of the reactants, they need to break, and the new bonds need to form so that products can also be produced. Also, what's important to remember is that chemical reactions, they rearrange the atoms of the reactants to form a new substance. So whenever a chemical reaction is taking place, the reactants, they are going to break the existing bonds, and once they break the existing bonds, they are going to rearrange to form something new. And that something you remember, it is a product. However, I have answered a lot of questions. Now it's your turn to answer a question for me. So rusting is a form of corrosion. What I need you to do is to tell me what corrosion is. What is it that you understand about this reaction, or oh, I mean, sorry about this process, the process of corrosion. I've had so much fun being with you here. I hope you did. And until I see you again next time, bye.